hands, we see this a lot. As soon as they put both hands on the gun. All right, we're back with uh, this guy again. Let's uh, let's check out what he has to say. With hands, we see this a lot. As soon as they put both hands on the gun, they start changing their grip. They turn into the tactical turtle and everything else. Stay relaxed when you shoot. That doesn't have a whole lot of benefit. All right, let's see what he's talking about. Hands, we see this a lot. As soon as they put both hands on the gun. All right, is that like? I don't know. I feel like a lot of these guys who talk against what they call the tactical turtle, like always have like this mockery of it, right? Uh, so I don't know. It's like it's extra with the face and everything. Again, this to me is showing your bias because you're trying to make someone who shoots in this style uh, like you're mocking them or less than versus having an objective comparison. So let's see what he says. They start changing their grip. They turn. All right, changing their grip. Okay, so because they're shooting everything locked out, they're changing their grip. Uh, I think you could change your grip shooting in the style that you shoot, or any style. So to me, this is, again, you're really not giving any kind of real evidence to really make the case against the style of shooting, which is the lock arm and shoulder, other than, oh, you make a poo-poo face, uh, like you're mocking it, and... You're talking about changing grip, which isn't really applicable because that can apply with any shooting style. You shouldn't be never changing your grip. I don't change my grip. Uh, people who shoot like this at a high level don't change their grip. So I don't understand where that connection is. Turn into the tactical turtle and everything else. You're just not creating any, any real argument. You're just insulting something. And that to me is the first step in invalidating yourself of having an argument and a debate is insulting it because you can't you can't attack the argument so you attack the person in this case it's the style of shooting stay relaxed when you shoot that doesn't happen i hear this a lot stay relaxed while you shoot why would i want to stay relaxed will i be able to stay relaxed in what context should i be stayed relaxed in and is this going to apply to all situations i ask this question I have a whole lot of benefit to it so Let's talk about the things that are going right here. Though he's mocking it, let's talk about what things are applicable here. All right. First of all, again, we talk about the alignment of the sights with the eyes. There is no condition in which there is not going to be an alignment, whether the optic, the tall sights, or even low sights. He's got bone support, right? He's got his arms locked out. That means he's pushing equally. Ideally, into the back of the gun with the right hand, pulling with the left hand, right, his wrist is straight. So there's a lot of benefits to this. Um, I will say standing kind of tall uh, versus leaning forward a little bit more. So even if he's a big muscly guy, <coughs> he's getting pushed back a little bit. All right, so let's see what he says about his style of shooting uh, here. Stand by. So I know he's doing slow fire here and he can shoot faster, but let's let's look at what I'm seeing, uh, slow motion. You see that shock wave going through his arms into his shoulders, right? This is the I'm relaxed, yet all this play is moving me, right? He's gonna be oscillating back and forth constantly, right? For every shock wave that he shoots, it's gonna push him back. And he's going to have to recenter himself. The gun goes up and down, up and down. So he talked about this before where it's going up and down and letting it bounce back to where it needs to go versus having a sewing machine and why you wouldn't want to have a sewing machine where it's going back and forth and still staying on target. I don't know. So my point being is this, this style of shooting has a lot of movement to it, right? And this is the biggest detractor for me is this, this is not aligned. I mean, he's looking through the optic, but I've showed you the videos where he's not aligned with the sights if he was using iron sights, right? And there's a lot of movement. He's having to counter against the movement. His, his knuckles are white, so he's gripping it tight. It's just he's limited by the stability of his arms and shoulders, which is muscle support, right? And you want to be relaxed, not fatigue yourself, yet you're using muscle support to manage the recoil.
and keep the gun back in line with the target. So is this really better? You know, if I was going to take a, an approach like he did, you know, I would call this some kind of like stupid name and then I would like make a face about it and then I feel like I would make some example that didn't really make sense. Like, uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, I think I already plugged the holes through it without having to make something up about it. Let me know what you think. Uh, so, again, my point being, are we going to have an honest conversation if we're comparing two different styles? Both styles are very valid, but don't talk shit about one because it's not your preferred method or what's popular. Uh, to me, that shows uh, a bit of uh, unprofessionalism and the ability to have a distinct conversation between the pros and cons and uh, presenting both your student and let them see what works best for them. Thanks for watching, guys. Please comment below if you'd like to uh, let me know what I'm missing or what you think, and I'll see you in the next video.